are you doing? You moving something? I'm confused. I don't know if I like this. Okay, let me taste this lobster. I've never had lobster before. Just a little piece. <laughs> no, babe, am I gonna eat this? I'm gonna need to break this. Hi everybody, welcome back to another insert. Okay guys, so before I get into this video, I just wanted to let you guys know that I have finally realized what my target is and I really want to get to 500 subscribers and when I do get to 500 subscribers I'm gonna do a giveaway and more than one person stands a chance to win so I'm encouraging you guys to comment on all my videos starting from the one I'm gonna upload today so this one that you're watching right now and then like the videos and you could stand a chance to win something. Um, I don't want to say what it is, but both females and males stand a chance to win. So guys, please just comment and just like. So that's all you got to do. So as you guys can read by today's title, I will be doing a mukbang, mukbang, whatever you want to call it, with an assumptions tag. So... A few weeks ago, I asked you guys what your assumptions are about me on my Instagram. I asked on Twitter too. <laughs> and wow, the people on Twitter, you guys. My people on Twitter are so mean to me. <laughs> but um, I just want to thank you guys for actually asking while well, commenting, you know, and putting your assumptions out there about me. Um, I really do appreciate it. So I will be doing eating seafood. So yeah, it's my first ever seafood boil, like ever. And I'm excited because I love seafood. Okay, so I will be looking this direction because my questions are yeah, and I decided to wear white on the wrong day. This is Cajun sauce. Okay. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. <laughs> it looks so good, okay. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the Twitter questions. Mm. Hmm, okay. First assumption, you seem like a cool person, but someone should not step on your toes. I am a very sweet person. I feel like I'm very chilled and yeah, uh, but I don't take nonsense, hey? Like, mm -mm. I know my limits and I don't take nonsense, but I'm, I'm a very nice person. Um, but I feel like I do have a resting B-word face. So people find it very difficult to approach me. But on my social media, like you can tell that I'm a nice person, but you don't want to get on my bad side. So I agree with that one. Um, the second one is you're very much open. I feel like I tend to overshare sometimes. I feel like I'm a very open book. I try to be transparent. I, I try to make people know me for who I am, you know. But my problem is oversharing. Like sometimes you don't want to share too much, especially because you don't know people's true intentions, you know. 
someone could laugh at you and smile with you and plan other things behind your back so yeah i am open but to certain people and i feel like people only know what i want them to know so yeah mm, i agree with that miss independence <laughs> you guys really think i'm uh, independent okay i am independent now like independent in, independent in a way where i don't want to depend on somebody else especially a man like i don't want to depend on a man i always want to have my own i want to be able to hold my own i want to be able to do things for myself and yes i can do things for myself you know um but yeah i really do believe in having your own things like i don't believe in feeding off of people you know and leeching off of people like i don't believe in that so um yeah i feel like i can agree with that i feel like i can agree with that i'm moneyed and open to new experiences i'm definitely open to new experiences i'm a person who loves trying new things you know but sometimes i want to do things that are in my comfort zone you know so it's it's kind of 50 50 you know sometimes i'm open to new experiences sometimes i would just rather shy away from them because it's not what i'm comfortable with you know as for my need <laughs> hey i'm waiting for that day hey where i'm moneyed but yeah no i'm not my need assumption you have a boyfriend <laughs> yes i do have a boyfriend i'm in a relationship and I feel like I'm very open about my relationship status. So, yeah, that shouldn't even be an assumption because people know that I'm in a relationship. Okay, next is egoistic but good hearted. I got an ego like really <laughs> um no i feel like no i'm very humble guys i'm a very humble person and i have a good heart i do have a good heart and i don't agree with the other one that word is very hard to say um you're very savvy with your money yes definitely i am Guys, I don't like being someone who is in uncomfortable positions when it comes to my finances, you know? Like, I try to monitor each and every single cent I spend. And before I even spend some time, like, I'll sit there with myself and tell myself, okay, this is how much you're going to spend on this, and you're not spending more. And if you're spending more, it's going to be this much more, but nothing more than that and i always have i always have money left on the side like always 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 money i never touch so i feel like i am very sad with my money and i learned this from my parents thank you to my parents because my parents are so good with their money guys like proper like proper good with their money and they taught me that from a young age you know so all my life i was instilled with being savvy with your money you know even if you know money's gonna come like you guaranteed money's gonna come don't overspend just because you know the money is gonna come back you know i just don't believe in that but some people do and each to his own you know but yeah i agree with that uh Someone said, rich, selfless, a bit of bragging here and there, and very kind. Oh, and pretty. Thank you. Um, but rich, I ain't rich, guys. <laughs> I'm not even, like, half of rich. I'm not rich. Selfless? Mm-hmm. I am. I am. And I feel like 
sometimes people take that for granted you know so yeah a bit of bragging here and there you know it's i feel like sometimes it comes across as bragging no but i'm not bragging you know like sometimes when i talk about my things it's not that i'm bragging about them you know like i don't think i do that because i know how quickly something can be taken away from you you know you can brag about something you can brag about i have a new car i have this that 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 and then the next day you get into an accident or whatever so i don't believe in bragging but talking about things you know yes i do but i know that to other people it may come across as i'm bragging but yeah okay next highly inquisitive hmm speak your mind introvert low-key spicy highly inquisitive mm -mm. i don't think i'm an inquisitive person guys i like no I don't think I'm an inquisitive person. But I want to know things, you know, and all of that. But I don't think... I'm like too, too, too inquisitive. I'm a little bit inquisitive, but not like highly inquisitive. Speak my mind, I do. I'm not afraid to speak my mind. Introvert. I am. I think I am an introvert. Sometimes I feel like I'm an extrovert. Sometimes I feel like I'm an introvert. I feel like it depends who I'm with, you know, but most of the time me, I want to be by myself, you know, like I want to do things by myself because I'm an introvert. Low-key spicy, definitely, like I'm not even gonna dispute that. But you know, sometimes I feel like my sarcasm can be taken for me, like can be mistaken for me being spicy. So I am very sarcastic, like very sarcastic. Um, so sometimes people can take that as spice, but yeah, um, I'm not gonna disagree with the fact that I'm spicy. This guy, I think this isn't, he said you look like my ex, therefore you probably behave like her. Okay. Sure. I think you have a great personality. Um, thank you. I think I'm very calm i think yeah i think i'm very kind and yeah i feel like when i started doing my words i became like my personality changed i became a different person i became more fun i became more open to new things you know um so yeah i think i think i try in terms of the personality um, I'm a hustler, baby. I'm a hustler. No, I'm not a hustler. I'm not a hustler. I'm not a hustler, but I'm like independent, you know. But I ain't a hustler. Huh? What? Oh. <laughs> like, okay. I feel like context depends. You know, but I don't think I'm a hustler. <laughs> I really don't think I'm a hustler. But yeah. Okay. Let's get in. So those were the Twitter ones. Now I'm gonna answer the um, Instagram ones. Okay, so the Instagram ones, man. Uh you love too hard in a relationship. I used to. I love extremely hard in my relationships and I don't anymore. Like, you know, I feel like now I believe in the guy needs to love you more than you love him. Because I've been a papa too much just simply because I loved the, the person I was with more than they loved me. So now, it's definitely 50-50. We either love each other the same amount or you love me more. But I used to love too hard in relationships, but not anymore. You're a pretty cool person. Um, 
I do get that a lot. No, I do get a lot that I do get it a lot that I am a cool person. So I'll take that. I think I'll agree with that. You love to keep a small circle of friends true. Like there's a lot of acquaintances in my life. Like there's a lot of people I know that some people may think are my friends, you know, but there's only I feel like literally two handfuls. Like yeah, of friends. Like literally a two hands of friends that I can count probably. So I don't think I have a lot of friends and I do believe in keeping your circle small because the bigger your circle, the more enemies you have. Like, I just feel like that's how it is. And the bigger your circle, the more people know about you because you tell all your friends stuff about yourself, right? And I just feel like if I'm telling Margaret, if I'm telling Portia, if I'm telling, you know, do me, like, I'm just telling all these people different things about my life. Like, who knows who like Margaret is gonna tell to someone else, you know? And so I just feel like having a small circle makes your life better. Um, you love online shopping and you're kind. Um, thank you again for saying that I'm kind. I feel like a lot of people do say that. I feel like I'm kind too. I feel like people say I'm kind because they can tell that I'm kind, you know. So yeah, I love online shopping. <laughs> Um, I love online shopping for things like shoes, maybe, you know, like jewelry, like those type of things, even though I'm not like a jewelry person, but like things like not clothes related because with clothes, I want to fit my things. I want to make sure they fit me, you know, but I do love online shopping. So yeah, you are a nice person and you seem pretty genuine at heart and kind. Um... Yeah, I think I can agree with that. Um, yeah, and the next person says sweet and kind. So I feel like a lot of people do think that I'm sweet and kind and I'm not going to disagree. Um, and they say I've, I seem like a genuine person. And I really am, you know, because I want people to be genuine with me. So I want to be genuine too with other people, you know, towards other people. So... yeah so that is it for this video guys like i couldn't really eat my chai because like, i'm not really hungry but i really tried to eat but that's it for the video guys thank you so much to the people who asked questions i or oh, had assumptions i really appreciate it and yeah please don't forget to like comment subscribe and don't forget to like and comment on all my videos to stand a chance to win something in my giveaway. Also, please tell your brothers, your sisters, your cousins, your mother, your father, your friends, their friends to subscribe. Guys, please subscribe. It's free. Like, it's free. It literally takes one second to subscribe. Please subscribe, guys, and please get me to... 500 subscribers. I will see you guys in the next one.